Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today the Detroit Pistons have signed Paul Reed, or more of claiming Paul Reed. Um now uh bringing in Paul Reed after the Philadelphia 76ers waived him. He's played for the 76ers the last four seasons. But this year was the, you know, his best year with not only his best year with Philadelphia, but out of all seasons, this was the most he played. 19 minutes per game, which before that his highest was 11. He shot 54% from the floor. He shot 37% from three on one attempt per game. Really good for a center. He averaged 7.3 points per game with six rebounds per game. Look, if you ask me to average 7.3 points per game and six rebounds per game as the backup center for Joel Embiid, who um, is a monster scorer and is getting a ton of minutes at the center position, not bad to average seven and six being the backup center for arguably one of the best centers in basketball outside of Nick. I mean, it's, it's very, it's very, it's very debatable that Joel Embiid is the best center in basketball, but you could make the argument compared to Nikola Jokic. Um, but I mean, I mean, yeah. So I I think that to average seven and six as the backup for Joel Embiid, um, I'm interested to see what his numbers would be on this Detroit Pistons team. Obviously, Jalen Duran is still going to be this uh, starter for the Pistons, but uh, being the backup for Jalen, I think that that could come with more minutes for for potentially Paul Reed. And uh, I, I really think that he, he's going to be a solid piece for this Pistons team. And I thought, I really think the Pistons have been making some solid additions. I've really loved what they've done this off season so far. I mean, they've added in shooting and they've, they've covered the, 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 the terrible three point shooting. They were bottom six in three point shooting in the NBA last year. And what they brought in, they've brought in Tim Hardaway Jr. Tobias Harris. Also, they have brought in uh, Malik Beasley and who else am I missing? Uh, Resigned Simone Fontecchio, and now they have brought in Paul Reed. Paul Reed, Paul Reed for a center is not a bad three point shooter. I mean, he literally shot thirty seven, near forty seven, thirty sorry, thirty seven percent on one attempt per game as a as a big man. So another three point. I'm not gonna say another good three point shooter coming in, but another guy who's not a terrible three point shooter coming in for Detroit. But mainly, they have done a great job on focusing on improving shooting earlier in the off season. Trading for Tim uh, Hardaway Jr., signing Malik Beasley, re-signing Simone Fontecchio, you know, also signing Malik Beasley, now signing Paul Reed. Defense and turnovers I still think will be a problem for this Detroit, this Detroit team. But, I mean, bringing in Paul Reed, not a bad defender. That's something I really like about this signing. It's not just bringing in a good backup big man. And the guy who's a solid three-point shooter and a good scorer and a good rebounder for a backup for Joel Embiid. This is someone who is a good defender as well. He averaged one block per game and one steal per game and only 19 minutes per game for Philadelphia. And he's a good defender. Detroit needs that right now. Detroit might be improving on their three-point shooting and might be improving as a roster, but their defense certainly has not improved. Outside of Ryan and Ron Holland, who I don't think will get a lot of minutes in the draft, uh, their defense has not improved. Um, to, with the, with the additions they've made, look, I like the additions of Hardaway. I like the Hard Hardaway, Beasley, Harris, Fontecchio, but outside of Fontecchio, none of those guys are really good defenders. Uh, but Paul Reed is the first guy I believe they brought in outside of Ron Holland in the off season that will actually make an impact defensively. So I like this addition for Detroit in the comments. Sorry, I like this addition for De for Detroit. Let me know your thoughts on the signing in the comment section and peace out.